Pretty dead, man. I need to get a tripod for my phone. All right, guys, how are we doing? Welcome back. So today, we're eating another takeaway box. This is a Thai takeaway box. And I was going to say, this is like the first kind of Thai food I've ever had, but you can't count it. It's little ready meals from Sainsbury's. I mean, I've had what, like the green Thai curry before. I think from Tesco's, and it was absolutely dog war. It was shit. But I've already done a couple of these. I don't know why I haven't done more, because each one has bang like a thousand views in like a day or two. So... I should just do these every day. No, but leave a like straight away. Subscribe to me. It comes with one jasmine rice, Thai style green chicken curry. Or should I say chef and curry? Because it's funnier. Thai style red chicken curry, which I assume would be a bit spicier. Four vegetable string rolls and prawn crackers. Now I just come out of work. Now I just have to go through quickly because I was, I felt like shit and was ill for like a day and a bit. I don't know, it's weird. So basically, oh, a week and a half ago, I kind of had a bad throat. It was during the time where I wasn't. It was during the time where I wasn't uploading for like a week or so. I did feel a bit iffy, like kind of dodgy throat and I started to upload again and then started to get like a runny nose, which is weird. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I don't actually feel too bad. All of a sudden, three, four days ago, what day was it? Oh fuck, I don't even know. It doesn't really matter. No one really cares anyway. I had like two days off. So the night before my stomach started to hurt. Yeah, so this is Monday night. I was like, okay, that's weird. Like I think I might have a stomach ulcer. I don't know, cause my granddad has one. My dad doesn't think he does. So I don't think it's a stomach ulcer but i started to feel shit as it like flu kind of symptoms like body aches and felt like shit and then woke up felt a bit better stomach still hurt a bit but i was like you know what i'm gonna crack on still bang gym smash some arms you know we back baby i got home i bought this thai takeaway box just throughout the day stomach was still hurting i'm gonna just try and record a couple of shorts maybe recorded two shorts uploaded one three four o'clock i like the symptoms were as if i had covid i felt like absolute shit Shit. Like I was literally so cold. I didn't want to move. Like my stomach really hurt. Shivering. Body aches. Like I don't know. It could be flu. I don't think it was COVID. Different kind of symptoms for COVID. But you don't know what's going around in the world these days, do you? So then that kind of lasted throughout the night. I went. I had a bath, bro. I was freezing cold. I was still shivering in a hot bath. And I started to feel warm and then I woke up at like two o'clock that night, cold again, felt like shit. And then I woke up feeling all right. And then yesterday I wasn't quite well enough to record the video and my stomach still hurt. But today I'm pretty much there. My stomach's still not 100%. I don't know if it was trapped gas or what, but something wafty. It's weird because I only really felt really bad for like certain few hours. I mean, usually it'd be like a few days, really bizarre. I don't know what. Then I'm catching all sorts of shit at different times. I'm not gonna go through details and shit of all this. I mean, I'm just, just gonna show you here. If you guys wanna pause that and read all that stuff, then please go ahead and crack on. I'm just gonna cook it. Some of it's oven, some of it's microwave, some of it you can do both. I'm just gonna see you when it's all ready because I've already spent most of the video waffling. But actually, hold up. Okay, why would you say, why would you give it an option to be able to cook it in the oven when it does this? Why would you make, make the container like that? Now half the sauce spilled out into the oven. And near enough done anyway. Here we go. Smash it. Let's scram. Now I did have a little look at the two curries and the nutrition and if I eat both of them, I'm getting 60 Gs of protein, which isn't too bad. Got the two spring rolls here, rice, curry, curry. And prawn crackers here. I'm just gonna serve myself some. That's weird, you know. I thought my cat usually serves the food to me. Oh well. Right. Yeah, that came off nicely, which is good. Sometimes they're a pain in the ass. Rice smells pretty okay. It's quite sticky, I think it's supposed to be, right? right there we go. Now I'm gonna get now nah, let's put both your curries in. There's some green beans in this one, I think. I've spilt quite a bit of the sauce, it's quite runny, so. Not bad amounts of chicken in these, you know. Pretty sure this red one is actually quite spicy. Now, what's going to be nice though? These prawn crackers dipped inside. There it is, guys. There it is. Right, let's try the Thai green curry for oh, green curry first. but the rice is better than regular rice. I don't know if it's because it's sticky. I mean, that Thai green curry is pretty bang average. Nah, didn't really expect much from that one anyway. Right, the red one. I hope they are cooked long enough. Instantly get a kick actually from that one. 
Can all these little bits in it? Can't be asked to properly look. I don't care enough. What is that? Oh my God, it's fucking hard. Who knows what is that? What is that? What is that? Say what is that one more time, lad. But yeah, what actually is that? Comment it below. I'm probably being so white right now. Whilst waiting for these to cook for the past 40 minutes, probably should have looked into what that like, exactly was in the curry. So it would have saved me going, what's that? Every 20 seconds. Natural sauce is pretty dead. I mean, for both. I'd go for the red one over the green one just because it has a bit of spice. Therefore, a bit more flavour. Subscribe. When I had that Chinese box, with some green beans in that one. The sweet and sour sauce just slap, but this sauce isn't quite doing the same as the sweet and sour sauce. Actually, it's doing nowhere near the same. Spring rolls, we've had them before in these takeaway boxes. This is probably throwing me off Thai food, but I know there's some really good Thai food out there, obviously. I haven't ate it, but there certainly is. It's slightly better than this. I think it was 8.50. I think sometimes they have a bit of an offer on. I won't be getting this one again. The Chinese one, watch that video. Southern fried chicken one, watch that as well. I'd certainly get the Chinese one again. The shower. From here on out, I'm just eating the chicken. Hope it was cooked enough. <laughs> I'd take out a smidge early because the whole thing would have ended up on the on the oven floor. So good thing I did check on them. Pretty dead, man. Like I, I didn't really expect much from this anyway. Nah. Boring. <laughs> Are there any bits of chicken in here? Let me know guys, because I can't be asked to read the description. I think I've been the bit of pay from now, but what is these bits here? What is that? No chicken? No. No. I guess we'll eat this one then. Can't let the chicken go to waste. Yeah, they'll certainly get on other takeaway boxes from other supermarkets. Even MS, you know, I think they're like 12 quid, but. It's worth doing, you know, for a video. We'd be more than happy to do that. A little spring rod to finish off. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Again, I think the video was half me waffling than actually eating, but we move. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.